three things to keep in mind one keep the project simple i cannot emphasize that enough number two don't jump into coding as soon as you have an idea don't just go jump and start coding i strongly recommend that you first have a very clear view as to what your outputs should be and then work backwards to the inputs and uh, basically you're stitching the entire pipeline from left to right and um, uh, anticipate any potential pitfalls and plan accordingly um number 3 have fun um i hope uh, you will all do very very well and succeed i'm actually looking forward to seeing some of these uh, um projects thank you and uh, see you all soon bye our role as a mentor is precisely to support participants with our expertise bring into the table the experience we've had in our career paths within the ai world In order to convey this experience so that participants can really use them as an additional source of information and learn to develop their own judgment, I would invite them to feel free to ask and even question said experience, since the objective cannot be reached if this experience-based information doesn't engender trust or make it clear as to why certain course of action was followed over the other alternatives. Lastly. The possible solution must be confluence between experience and new ideas, which is why I reiterate the importance of the best solution to a problem being built by teamwork. Here's some uh, advices that I I wish uh, someone told me when I was starting in my career, and I think you can apply to this hackathon. Um, first is um, instead of starting, um, you know, a business or, or an idea based on a new technology. First, I think you you have to focus on the problem you want to solve and how you're gonna apply technology, like for instance AI, uh, to you know provide a, a better solution. Um, second, it's uh, start from the desired uh, end result and then work uh, backwards to the beginning. Um, and that's, of course, after you have a good uh, understanding uh, of the problem you want to solve. Um, that's the most efficient way uh, to come up with a solution in the, you know, uh, minimum uh, amount of time. So uh, I believe that the guidance uh, from mentors might benefit development of projects uh, by helping them identify uh, useful uh, benchmarks or uh, reference that are related to the project. Uh, it's also important to uh, give some uh, feedback uh, on planning and also like breaking break it down the, the project into uh, smaller and intermediate uh, pieces and deliverables uh, so that a more iterative and trial and error approach could be applied. Uh, it's also important to uh, identify all possible uh, knowledge gaps in the, in the team and possibly incentivize uh, participants to uh, join or uh, even merge teams with uh, complementary skills uh, and beyond the, the needs as well. Identify the right mentor. Look for a mentor who has experience and expertise in the specific area or problem statement that a participant is working in. Second, the participant can start working with the mentor setting clear goals on what they want to achieve with their project and this could include specific objectives such as developing new algorithm or understanding the state of art or even understanding the domain from which the problem statement came from trying to set regular meetings with the mentor to discuss progress and receive feedback this can be in the form of one on one meetings or even group discussions with other participants and mentors don't be afraid to ask your mentor for feedback and guidance on the ai project this is for all the participants because the mentors can provide valuable insights on best practices or potential challenges or ways to improve the project which they have probably dealt with um in their previous projects 
try to also collaborate with other participants who could be working on the same challenge and that would also be a great way to leverage the expertise of mentors and other participants now this can help you learn from others trying to get new ideas and gain broader perspective now also be uh, open to learning keep an open mind try to learn from your mentor and other participants this could have help you develop new skills and gain new insights I'm expecting to see innovation projects with um, with AI technology, obviously, but I think that the participants need to be disruptive, okay? They need to be focusing, okay, we have a problem to solve and we are not afraid about how we can solve the problem. So I think that we, we need to be focusing, think really outside the box, okay? Just to we starting to uh, work with AI, it's a very good step because with the innovation, we, have, we are already thinking a little bit outside the box, but we need to think, okay, there is a problem. We need to find a way to solve it. I think what really is something that I'm looking forward for, Eric, in this whole hackathon is there's a bunch of fresh minds and I would like to see where they're coming from, what is their creativity and not just looking at what's ha happening in the world but i think there are very fresh minds very fresh thoughts and i think that gives a very diverse thinking on how businesses could evolve in these directions and is this something that i could take back to my business saying that why don't we look at and transition our own because i think every organization is going through a digital transformation in some form and journey and i think these are hackathon give those pathways to think differently and I think that's the similar outcome that I'm looking at this one. At the end of this event, I hope to see participants have a lot of learning. In addition, I would like to see AI products that have innovation and creativity to solve problems. What I found really helpful is when people are able to really articulate the problems that they're trying to solve and see if the mentors can really help with the mentors network and also some of their experience. And so be specific about what you need and we'll be able to do great things. Thanks. I believe that in order to achieve an effective way of working, good communication and openness to listen ideas from different sources will help establish the flow of information between all team members. And with this, every task will flow more efficiently. Our role as mentors is helping to establish said communication channels. It's also very important to mention that as mentor, it's not our imperative to determine how things must be done, but rather to work as yet another team members who contribute ideas, ideas that can and must be debated, so that the best solution strategy is established jointly. I believe that the best solution to the problem and hand will be created between the experience we can provide as mentors and the fresh and innovative ideas put forward by the other participants. I find the most effective start in a hackathon is to establish clear communication channels. This means setting up regular check-ins with your mentors and teammates and using messaging apps to stay in touch. By doing so, you can ensure that progress is moving forward and that everyone is on the same page. Next, collaborate and share ideas with your team members. Remember to be positive, inclusive, and build on each other's proposals. Enjoy your time and think beyond the hackathon to the relationships you might build through this shared experience. Then, identify your strengths and weaknesses and those of your teammates. Figure out early on who is good at what. By doing so, you can anticipate and fill gaps sooner than later. You should also use your mentors to help you. Okay. The first thing is to define a roadmap of the project with objective and milestone. I can help the team to scope the project, uh, guide them to explore new horizons, and if they are blocked sometimes, I can also, also uh, 
in blocked them. Uh, I can also uh, check uh, the milestone, challenge them and review the final pitch and demo, of course, for the last final step. In my opinion, one of the most common mistakes happen in planning the strategy to create the solution. That is, in establishing priorities and assigning resources according to the problem being solved. There is limited time, which is why it's essential to focus efforts on what really matters in order to reach a great solution within the established timeline. And precisely in that stage is where I consider that our job as mentor will help in great measure. If we are able to establish set strategy and plan, we'll surely achieve excellent results. And my other uh, piece of advice is, is to avoid um, some of the common pitfalls, such as defining the project to be an Uber project, you know, scope of the project to be humongous. Um, and, and unrealistic timelines um, and, and haphazard uh, program management. Um, I think um, some of the very helpful things you'll find with the mentors uh, in this program uh, are, are very experienced people who can guide you, who can make you come to the correct conclusions um, and work towards successful execution of the program. I think some pitfalls that I can think of in no particular order right, are um, firstly just having a clear idea of what problem you're trying to solve and also a method or a way of measuring what success looks like just knowing what success looks like for your uh, efforts right would be one thing that comes to my mind secondly all of you are experts here so needless to say the data quality as well as the quantity for your particular problem would be something very vital to think about very early uh, in the whole effort. Once these things are in place, I would think that uh, having a plan of how you would go about solving this whole thing and also having a contingency or a fallback plan would be important because not all the time you know, everything pans out as you would want it to be. Once these are done, uh, one of the common things that we all tend to do, uh, you know, it's across uh, domain sectors, etc., is that we want to build everything all at once, uh, you know, uh, uh, in its uh, full form. Uh, that's easier said than done, and it's many a times not practical. So I would suggest breaking things that you're planning to do up into MVPs uh, or you know, releases or you know, version one, two, three, etc. Whatever you would like to call it, into sm smaller chunks would help. And uh, one final thing that I would uh, certainly uh, like to bring up here is that please spend the time to uh, stitch together your final presentation or your final pitch, uh, or your final storyline, uh, because uh, that's what everybody will uh, see here and uh, will uh, look to assess. So the most common pitfall which I observe from hackathons is that. Either the participants do not focus on the feasibility of the study which they do. So feasibility is one major uh, thing which they should focus on. And the next thing is uh, how they bring it or how their product is uh, given to the customers. Because most of the products are based on the business value, not on the customer value. So whatever solution uh, developed by the participants or the team members should be based on the customer value and not on the uh, business value. So these two are the major things where the participant has to concentrate on so that we develop a better solution which will be useful for the society and there will be an advancement in the technology as well. So this is my tip for the participants.